animations light up. Hey guys, welcome back to another Big Rick Games tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be placing a Pack-A-Punch machine into our game. And in this series, we are going through and remaking Call of Duty Zombies with all free assets and providing you with all the assets that we use in this game. You can find them in the description below. So if you want to download the Pack-A-Punch model, go ahead and do it. You can use it for whatever you want. And today we are going to be starting the Pack-A-Punch machine. We are actually calling it Craft a Kick. So it's not the exact same, but you can see we have the machine right here. And today we will be showing you how to add the effects to turn on the machine so it looks like it's doing something. It sparks are flying everywhere. Um, and in the next tutorial, we will place the gun and upgrade the gun, and the gun will show outside of the machine like it does in the regular game. We will be continuing the series until we complete the game, and we will always give you the assets for free, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the tutorials or any of the assets that we release for you guys. So let's start back where we left off last time and throw this Pack-a-Punch machine into the game. Okay, so first we want to drag our model into our screen and in the download package it is in the folder called Perk Machines and down Craft a Kick and click on that and Materials and drag the model into the screen and this is the model that we got from Ryan. So the first thing we're going to do like we did with the Perk Cola machines is add collision boxes. So if you go to add component in the inspector tab then go to box collider and add one for colliding with the object. And then I'm going to add a second one, and this one is going to be a trigger. And this one is going to be where the game knows that you're standing in front of the box when you collide with this box. So if you click the little Edit Collider button in the Box Collider, we can drag that out to the front. So now we have that out in front. And then next we're gonna add a bunch of effects to the model. So first we're gonna add lights, so it looks like it's lighting up when you're using the machine. So for that, under the model and I'm going to rename this light and add component find your light and then for this I'm going to make it a spotlight and we're gonna move it around a little bit so it's facing the front of the machine and the range I'm gonna kick down to about 1.5 the intensity all the way up and then the spot angle to about 90 and then I'm going to change the color to a bright green and this is gonna be the color that the machine looks like it's making when it's upgrading a weapon and then we want to make it big enough so it covers the edges so it kind of looks like the machine is emitting light from the inside so we're gonna move that back until it hits the edges and that looks good and then I'm going to duplicate this which you can do control D or command D if you're on a Mac and do three of them so we have all three lighting up the machine and I'm gonna drag them in a little bit so the color goes into the machine so now just this if we click play we can see our machine here it looks like it's glowing we're gonna make it so it only does that when you activate the machine let's keep adding effects to make it look better next we're gonna add so I'm going to create another empty object and name it Particle System and add component, Particle System. And for this, I'm going to go down to the render and render mode is going to be mesh. And this will give it a fuller effect once we're done with what we're doing here. So now I'm gonna move it so it is in line with the rollers in the machine and also rotate it so it is shooting out the front of the machine. I'm gonna change the start lifetime to 0.05, change the start size to 0.4. Ten thousand, and then for color let's get a color that we had similar to our lights so a bright green and for shape let's change this from a cone to a box and with this box I'm going to size it a little bit so it better fits inside of this machine and for now let's disable these lights so that the logos disappear on screen get this box so it doesn't come out the back side and get it down so that the coordinates are around 1 for the X 0.2 for the Y and 0.25 for the Z. And what we're trying to do here is make it look like the rollers are kind of spinning and emitting a light. So since we want it to look like a light, I'm going to go to the start color, give it a alpha of around 100. Okay, that's good for now. We can refine it a little bit if you want, make it look better to more match up with the cylinder. And next I'm going to add a particle that is in the asset store. Um, you can import it if you go to assets, import package. 
and go to particle systems. And once you import the particle systems and find them in your project explorer, there is a folder called miscellaneous and sparks. And for that, I am going to drag it onto our scene, rotate it so it is facing outwards and put it inside of our craft -a kick model. So it's nested in there. And I'm going to duplicate that a couple times. And then there is another sparks particle effect in the legacy particles folder. And if you drag that in, we have another effect. And the more the better. I'm gonna move this a little more into the machine and I'm gonna duplicate that. And then last, I'm going to add smoke to it. So it looks like it's smoking when it's upgrading the weapon. And on this, I am going to, again, nest it in the craft -a kick along with the sparks. And for this, I'm going to make it a one shot. So it just does it once. So now we should have all of our effects on our system. And if I enable the lights again and push play, we can see what it looks like with all of the effects going. So that looks pretty good. And you can see our smoke. So now we need to create a script so it knows when the player is in front of it and to activate the machine when we press a certain button. So for that, I am going to go into my scripts folder, which is in resources, new scripts, and right click, create C sharp script. And for this, I'm going to name it craft a kick. And because we had a similar machine with the juggernaut uh, perk machine, we are just going to copy and paste that and modify it. So remember when you copy and paste the script to rename the public class as your script name or else it will get confused. And we are going to rename the price, craft a kick price. And you'll have to rename that in the script at all the places. So there's one on the GUI menu and also one in the ons trigger stay menu. There's two in there actually. And now we're going to create a variable which is an array of all of the effects that we just added to the machine. So for this, I'm going to put public game object, make sure that's an array, effect objects. And we have our GUI skin, which handles the font that we use. And we have our audio clip that will play a sound when we activate the machine. And then we are going to add a variable to track if the machine is in use. So I'm going to call that in use and set that to false. And we're going to have a timer. So float timer equals zero. First, we're going to create a new function that turns on and off all of the particles. So for this, we are going to go down under the other functions and put in void trigger effects. And that's going to take a pool. And when it's true, it will turn on the effects. When it's false, it will turn them off. So here we are going to do for each game object effects in effect objects. We are going to enable it when set is true, when our bool variable is true. So for this, we are going to do effects.setActive set, which was the variable we passed into the function. So now we can trigger on and off all the effects by just calling this function. So when we start the game, I'm gonna turn off the trigger effects. So it will be trigger effects false. And when we access the machine by pressing E, we want to turn them on. So trigger effects true. And in our GUI function, we need to modify it to upgrade weapon. And in the on trigger stay, we'll make some adjustments. We don't need to send a call to the player, so you can delete that. We don't need to set juggernog, so you can delete that line. And for allowing the player to upgrade a weapon, the only thing we need to check outside of the, what we're already checking is in use. So if the machine is not in use and the player has enough cash and we're close enough to the machine and we're pressing E then trigger the machine. And then in our if statement right here, if game management player has jug instead of that, we're going to use if not in use, which our variable is in use. So now we want to set up our timer so that we know how long the effect should go and when we should give the player the weapon after we update it. Since there is a small delay after you, you put your weapon inside the machine. So up here, I'm gonna change this to fixed update. If in use, then increment our timer. Timer plus equals time.deltaTime. And that will automatically tell us the time between frames, which should be the same though. 
since it's fixed update. Then in here we say if timer is greater than five, if timer is greater than three, we want to turn off the effects again. We also want to set in use equals false. So last we just need to tell the game when the machine is in use, which we forgot to do down in uh, the on trigger stay. So when we press E, then we want to set in use to true. So now we have a script that when we walk up to it and trigger, a collision between the trigger object that we set up, it will show us a GUI message. And if we have enough money and press E, then we're going to trigger the effects, turn the machine on and start the counter countdown. And last, we need to set the timer here to zero. And also remember to add price here, that was missing. So save the script. So now we wanna take our new script and place it onto our craft a kick object. So if we place it on there, and then we need to set up our arrays. So if we click on our object that we just dropped our script on, you will see effect objects array. And we wanna drop all of our effects onto that array. And one easy way to select a bunch of items in the hierarchy tab without selecting an item in the inspector will change is click the lock pad in the inspector. So now the craft a kicked inspector page will stay there. So we can get all of our effects and drag them into the effects object array. And we have our craft a kick price. I'll set that to five. We can set it to whatever we want. And you can notice two other variables that we don't have set up yet, my skin and the audio clip. So my skin, if you search the project for skin, there's a GUI skin and go ahead and drop that into the my skin object and then bending sound. There is a sound that I picked up and it is called craft a kick in the project folders and you can drag that into the vending sound. And last we need to add an audio source to our craft a kick object. So go audio source. So now we should have everything ready. If we click play, we can see that the craft a kick does not have the effects playing right now. And if we go up to it, we have our GUI text come up. And if we press E, we have the sound and all of the animations light up. And for this tutorial, that's everything we're gonna do. So next time we will have the gun placed into the machine. It will spit the gun back out once it's done upgrading. And we can look at it one more time without the enemy swamping us. I think you can hear the sound. That's our sound. We have our sparks flying and our lights going off. And if you wanted to make it better, you could you could pulsate the lights and it would make it more organic looking. You could do a lot of things actually. But for this tutorial, that's all we're gonna do. The next tutorial, we are going to add the weapon into the machine so it will take it out of your inventory and then pop out the weapon and upgrade the stats of the weapon. And the weapon will hold in front of the machine um, just like it does in the regular game. So that will be part two of this series. That's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. It helps us out and it will drive us to continue making these videos for you guys. If there's any features that you want to see, let us know in the comments section down below. We will add those in a future tutorial. So the next tutorial, we will be finishing up the craft -a kick and after that we will probably be going into multiplayer functionality. So we hope you enjoyed the video guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.